all right guys welcome to Nichols retirement empire let me show you something here I want you to look at these reels and how dusty I mean there's like dust out that not that one these they're all dusty and old looking those are dusty and old looking because I haven't used them in <clears throat> I don't know 15 years probably it's been a long time seriously five to seven years since I've used those those poles and then I have all this tackle right here that I haven't used in years and years so Chris why have you not used this stuff you go fishing all the time well because that is my bass stuff and back in the glory days of all my bass fishing <laughs> glory when <laughs> I used to bass fish all the time especially before I got married all the time like five days a week if I was off work um, and every weekend I bass fished all the time and uh, since we've moved down here you know and I bought this boat years back and um, been using it and just fishing saltwater because I didn't live in an area where it was easy to get to any bass fishing lakes and I even gave my old bass boat to my brother-in-law because I couldn't use it anymore uh, when Tammy's daddy let us use that apartment in his house I was like we're gonna be up here a good bit aren't we in Cedar Town and I'm thinking I never get to go fishing in Cedar Town I don't have a boat and if I go I have to go up to see my brother-in-law and my dad and um, fish up there and it's like the most crowded fishing place in America it's unbelievable how many people bass fish like you can't fish up there last time I went it was crazy so I decided what I was gonna do I, I told Tammy I said do we have any money and she's like what do you mean do we have any money because she handles all the money because she's a computer person so I can't even begin to I don't know what would happen if, if something happened to her I'd have to just take everything out of the computer and start writing checks again and using cash like I did back in the day but anyway uh i said do we have any cash and she's like yeah we got a little bit you know from all this stuff. and i'm just like do, you know how much money do i make on my channel do i make enough to make a boat payment or do i make enough to, to pay for the boat insurance or something and she's like why i said well if i had a boat up at cedar town i could bass fish up there or crappie fish or whatever and uh i could leave it up there because it is a six hour drive to atlanta through Atlanta traffic it is horrendous no matter what time it, there's always wrecks it's terrible um, it should be like a five and a half hour drive and it's like seven so a lot of times after into I said well do you mind if I look around for a boat she said no go ahead well you know we can keep it up there we have a good place to keep it and people can watch after it and all that kind of stuff she likes to bass fish too and now that she's had her neck fixed we're hoping she'll it'll start feeling better where she can go so I looked around and I found this boat um, and it was right now boats are hard to come by because during all this COVID everybody's got all these stimulus checks and stuff and everybody's bought boats and all this kind of deal so um, I bought this one and it had everything on it that I needed to fish in fresh water it's got the trolling motor um, the Minn Kota trolling motor it's a hand controlled one instead of a foot controlled one that I used to have uh, and this is a much smaller boat much lighter boat it's an aluminum boat it is made for fresh water and me and Paul are going to go out on it today I'm going to check it out it's got everything on it that I wanted to get which is practically it, it even had the depth finder that came with it which you hardly ever get now and this is exactly what I wanted to try to get. I've been talking to my brother-in-law about getting a bay boat for a while uh, because my dad has a bass boat and it's, I don't know if you guys that are watching this, you know, some of you don't really fish that much, but a bass boat, you sit down, it has like a bench seat and you have to sit down practically in the floor and it's hard to get up and down uh, as you get older and older. So this one, it's you stand up, uh, it's got, you know, you can walk around in it, you know, safely and you still got the sides and everything over here so it's a lot safer boat for somebody like my dad to use so I'm excited you know I have one boat totally paid off um, the payments are not that high on this <clears throat> and um, so I am you know I don't make enough money on my fishing videos to pay for this 
but if I did a lot of other videos, <laughs> it's so funny. I'll do a video where I'm just sitting on the porch talking and I'll get like 2,000 views and I do a fishing video, I'll get 500, but that's okay, I don't care, I like to fish. Uh, and I like to do fishing videos just for me. So I'm gonna have to do more garden videos and stuff so I can get more views, so I can pay for my boat, but don't worry about that, I'll, I'll get it paid for. We've always done real good when we get stuff that we could pay for it, so. Um, we don't overextend ourselves. Excel Bay 183. All right, it is me and this guy that I picked up on the side of the road. Hey. Um, not sure what his name is. I think it's Paul something. We are going to try some bass fishing on the Excel 183 Bay boat. www something so let's see what happens let's say i hadn't bass fished in forever and for a long yeah. time and we're using artificial lure so we'll probably get real tired from my casting arm, yeah my arms are yeah, tired from casting. Cast just... Uh, just thinking about it i just want to sit down well we did the water test go for start recording you know it's only like 180 um, degrees I'm doing the best I can with what I have to work with. Yeah, I, I, you know your head got shut my door. Your head got sun. Did it? Oh. No, no, not shut the sun. No. I want to see. Get back from here on, from here down. Okay, I'm going to get on this guy's way. All right, me and Paul whew, did the boat test. We're going to call that a, um, a driving test. Yes. On the boat because I don't want to call it fishing we no we did fish I guess it was fishing we did fish for four hours we just didn't do well <laughs> we did not do well on the fishing but that's to be expected when you're fishing somewhere you've never fished before mm -hmm. and it's whole you know you know what it's this hot outside yeah, it's a hundred right there 95 degrees and we're trying to catch fish what's wrong with this we are not. I right. didn't know it was going to be 95 today. It's, How did I miss that? I don't know. I told Tony it was going to be 85. She I thought it was going to be like 80 something. Yeah. She goes, what, "What's the temperature going to be today?" I said, "How far did we drive?" 85. Well, we're already. We're down in. We're down in Tampa Bay. Have we? Drove, <laughs> we didn't drive six hours <laughs> to get here. No. Uh, and on top of that, there's always something you forget that you don't have oh, on your yeah. boat the first. And guess what? I forgot. I'm gonna give you a clue, folks. Because Tammy's gonna yell at him. Do you see that? Gonna, I'm, gonna yell at, I'm gonna yell at myself. Ooh, he is hot. I forgot my. Ooh, uh, everybody always asks me, why do you wear that thing around your head? I'll show you why. That is That's why. why. I wear that thing around my uh, head. So now you know. Mm -hmm. And now I'm burnt. And I didn't even have any sunscreen. Like on my other boat, I've got sunscreen and all the necessity. Anyway, but the boat ran great. Fabulous boat. Good fishing out of. It's a little mm -hmm. hot. A little hot. But it's hard to judge exactly how hot it is when it's 95. Yeah. That messes up your heat. One thing good about it, if you caught a fish, you could clean it. Show yourself on the thing. Yeah. You, Come if on. You, if, if you caught, talking, you, okay, if you caught a fish. Yeah. It was so hot. You could clean it right there on the boat, gut it, clean it, lay it on the boat. Lay it on the boat. Yeah. And by the time you caught another fish, mm -hmm. you could eat it. Yeah. It would be done. That's probably true. That's that's closer than uh, yeah. That's supposed that's to be closer true. to the truth mm -hmm. than a lie. Than a lie. It was fun. It was hot, and it was uh, windy. But we were on the St. Mary's River, which we uh, first and probably the last time we're going to fish there. We saw an alligator. We saw a gator. I'm looking, really looking forward to getting this thing up north. Up to Indiana? Not that far. North. Oh, okay. Okay. North like Brunswick. No. <laughs> north, <laughs> north Georgia. North where, Georgia. Uh, in North Alabama. Alabama. Bama. Where I can uh, bass fish and crappie fish mm -hmm. and uh, have something up there. To uh, do when Tammy's going home to visit her family and I'm visiting my family. Yeah. It's exciting. That's perfect. This yeah. is an exciting new chapter. 
It's a yeah, and it's you turn right here. By the way, yeah, I know. If you're following the directions, we're turning right. We're turning right. Right at the stop sign. I mean, I don't want y'all to meet me here. Or anything. No, I don't want a bunch of people from Nichols oh. Retirement Empire showing up. Showing up at this intersection right here, saying Chris is getting ready to drive by. We don't want that. No, because this will be our last time uh, as a duel. Um, so what you're saying is you're not coming back. I'm not coming back. Like, now okay. Monday and Tuesday we'll be out on the uh, salt water again. Big fishing. water. Big water fishing. Big boats. Big water. Checking out Chris's new uh, fish finder. Yeah, we got a fish finder that is going mm. to. It's gonna. It's gonna improve. We the can't fishing. wait. We can't we wait. We are so excited. Instead of us catching thirty fish, we might be catching sixty fish. Yeah. So it's gonna be exciting. I'm just looking forward to catching a fish. A fish. After today. I hope that guy's not going to turn around here and chase me down. He ain't got a police oh, officer oh, just oh, ran. Oh, oh. Five O just went Five -oh. blue. Five -oh. Just went blue and white. Chris thought it was for him because he's. Chris is going 45 and a 55. So I'm that's going probably slow. I'm talking. Tom. That's probably why he's you're pulling us like, over because you're, you're going like too him. slow. So like as slow as he went in that tornado him and Tammy were in. Dude, <laughs> I'm telling you. I was going as fast as was safe. Okay. I was going a safe speed. I did you go fast, you... we had a whole lot better <laughs> chance of having a wreck than getting hit by a tornado. I thought it went That's fast. true. But if you're the saw, I don't know if you if you I don't know if you showed them the, the wreckage of the tornado. That's what we'll do. When we get back over there, oh. we'll turn the camera back on. Yes. And I'm going to show you how close that thing was. You better We're about that. Pause and charge the video in because I'm driving a car. Truck. I'm He's dri driving a truck. God. I'm driving <laughs> a truck with a boat attached. Actually, I was past this a little ways. You can't but see we came it. Through here about, there. We came through here about 540. Yeah. The, st the, the tornado hit straight ahead of us. On this road at 5:50. Yes, I'd say so. And yeah, that's exactly what time it hit. But it came. 5:50. It came from so that direction. So we missed it by like five minutes. Show them that the trees. I'm gonna. That well, used to be. Showing a... everything. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Go a little faster. She said, "There's a tornado warning," yeah. and she was reading, it and it was 5:44. We were right here. That means it, in six minutes, it had gone through there and then hit the, the park about a mile away. Yep. Yeah, that's true. And I was sitting in my lanai, which people from Indiana would call a porch. I don't even know what a lanai is. Yeah, you do. You know exactly what a lanai that's is. That's a lanai. You know, that's not a lie. <laughs> That's not a lie. Because I was thinking uh, about you guys. Yeah, I was thinking, are. I wonder how Chris and Tammy's doing out here. Because this is wide open. Yeah, this is where the wind this is. is this I mean, there's nothing yeah. there to stop a tornado. I don't know if you can see him. Chris lives right over there. Not in those great big homes on the river. <laughs> but on the other side of the street. The of those, smaller. On the other side of the street of those yeah, great big homes is Chris's house. home. Now, I don't want nobody coming over there and, you know. Don't come to my house. Let's read that sign. No trespassing. Don't you, don't you come to Chris's house. But anyway, big tornado. Uh, sorry about that. I'm not really good at uh, video. No, that'll make it worth the video. Just you trying to video <sighs> the trees, and you're getting a close up of your face. See, that's entertainment. Okay. Speaking of face, look how burnt he is. Don't. Ooh. Tammy just called, and uh, she's not happy about Chris. Jeez. Chris uh, getting sunburned. Real. And you know what? She ain't seen him yet, so she's really not going to be happy about Chris's Chris the Red Nosed Reindeer, basically. I'm telling you, folks. Redneck. This reindeer. camera does not show you how burnt that man is. And you, why did you let me stay out there? Oh. Uh, should have said, Chris, you're getting burnt. Chris, you're red. 